Hey, what is up guys? So today we are going to unbox and try the Gobi Aura Table Lamp and the Gobi Flow Pro. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start with the Gobi Flow Pro. So we have here a user manual and these are the light holders with sticky tape which you can stick at the back of the monitor. And these are the stand. Then we have the camera for color tracking which I'm gonna show you in a bit. Then the power adapter, a control box, and some calibration foams. And lastly, here are the light bars. So here you can either use it with the stand or stick it directly at the back of the monitor like what I did here. And by the way, I'll make a separate video showing my gaming studio setup featuring these Gobi lights. So stay tuned. Right, so first let's calibrate the camera. So as you see, all the orange foams are in place. Then just open the app, click settings, calibrate, then turn off the monitor, press ready. Select top since our camera is on the top, then align these points to the orange foam. So that's all you have to do. Then on the app, there is a music mode with a different light cycles and you can also adjust the sensitivity. Then another mode is the movie mode, which is my absolute favorite one. So here's how the movie mode in full screen looks like. So as you see, it looks pretty cool. So the colors on the screen looks like they're extending out of the monitor which looks really cool. By the way, this is on full screen so both left and right are displaying the same color. So let's go and try the split screen mode. Well, this one is way better. I admit it's really mesmerizing. And as you see, the light bars are now lighting up independently depending on what colors are displayed on left and right screen. This is really awesome guys. So what do you guys think? Do you like this mode? Let me know in the comments below. Another one is the color mode which you can customize the lights individually which is pretty cool. Then we have the scene mode with the different light scenes. So I'm just gonna cycle between light scenes so you guys can see. Alright, so moving on to the Govi Hour Lamp. So here we have the power adapter and the control box, a user manual, then the Govi Hour Lamp. So here you can see there is a Govi branding, then a rubber ring under it. Then on the top, there are five buttons. So this is the on and off button, brightness up and brightness down, music mode, and the light cycle mode. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn it on. So let's go and plug it in. So here you can change the light cycles and music mode using the buttons and you can fully customize the lights on the lamp using the app and there are lots of modes to choose from. And by the way, there's also a timer where you can set the time and day to automatically switch on or turn off which is a nice feature. Then there's also a music mode and here are some cool music light modes. You can also adjust the sensitivity of the music mode. So there are lots of things you can do on this app and it even lets you use your camera to select a specific color which is really awesome. And as you see there are lots of modes so I'm just gonna show you each light modes.
Right, so there you go guys. I highly recommend the Govi Flow Pro and the Govi Aura Lamp. Especially if you guys are looking for budget-friendly RGB lights that can give your room an extra awesome look to it. And honestly, the Gobi Flow Pro is my ultimate favorite. It just looks so amazing at the back of my monitor. And by the way, if you guys are interested, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.